Ever wonder if future space explorers will enjoy a glass of wine with their galactic dinners? I met one creative winemaker who sent the first bottle into space, and we were the first to see it after it landed. It's a wine that's truly out of this world. I'm Brian Van Miller, reporting from Tuscany. The roots of Italian wine go back centuries. Ancient mariners always carried rootstock to plant on distant shores. The Spanish planted European varietals in the New World, but Italians went a lot further. Winemaker Nicolo Enchiza convinced the European Space Agency to shoot his Sessakaya rootstock from the famed Tuscan winery into orbit on an unmanned mission back in 2005 to determine the effect of weightlessness on plants and to see if vines could grow in space. On return, the vines were replanted in Bulgari, where experts continue to monitor their growth. To commemorate the event and get their brand into space first, Enchiza created a specially shaped bottle of his famous wine for the trip. On a visit to his winery, he proudly showed me the bottle, kept in a vault since landing. We decided that it was a, it was a waste to, to drink, so we still have the bottle and the, <laughs> the, one, the wine inside. Small because weight is critical in space, Enchiza estimates this bottle could fetch a million dollars at auction. But he's not selling. He wants you to buy his wine in space. We expect that uh, in the future a lot of uh, people will travel in the space and uh, uh, some trips will last uh, maybe over five, six months. So they need uh, good wine to enjoy the trip. Socialist ideas have obviously failed the people here. It's time to give the beauty of capitalism a chance to slay the socialist beast. I'm Brian Van Miller on business.